Tesla just shattered every manufacturing record in automotive history. A complete car rolling off the line every 4.5 seconds. Faster than you can brew your morning coffee. But here's what nobody's talking about. At this speed, human workers can't even get close to the assembly line. The machinery moves too fast for the human eye to track. So, what's really happening inside Giga Texas? And what compromises did Tesla make to achieve the impossible? Let's dive right in. To understand what's really happening, we need to address the elephant in the room. That 4.5 second figure. It's not what most people think it is. Tesla isn't completing an entire vehicle from scratch every 4.5 seconds. What they've achieved is a production line where one finished car rolls off the end every 4.5 seconds because multiple vehicles are being assembled simultaneously at different stations. Think of it like an airport runway. Planes don't take off in 30 seconds, but one might leave every 30 seconds because they're queued up. Still, even with this clarification, the speed is absolutely staggering. Traditional automakers like Toyota or Ford typically complete a vehicle every 60 to 90 seconds at their fastest factories. Tesla just made them look like they're moving in slow motion. Now, here's where things get interesting. Elon Musk didn't just optimize the existing car manufacturing playbook. He threw it in the trash. The secret weapon isn't more robots or faster workers. It's a machine that sounds like something out of science fiction. The Giga Press. This beast delivers 50,000 tons of clamping force and can cast the entire rear underbody of a car in a single three-second shot. The old Model Y rear section required 70 separate metal components, hundreds of welds, and a small army of robots just to hold everything together. Tesla replaced all of that with one aluminum casting. The cost savings? 40%. The time savings? Even more dramatic. But here's what nobody's connecting yet. Why would Tesla push this technology so aggressively right now? The answer is sitting in Chinese factories. BYD isn't just catching up. They're producing affordable EVs at a scale that terrifies traditional automakers. Tesla's response isn't to compete on features or luxury. It's to compete on something far more fundamental, manufacturing cost. The Model 2, launching next year somewhere between $20,000 and $30,000, isn't just Tesla's cheapest vehicle. It's their declaration of war in the mass market segment. Let's break down what actually happens inside Giga Texas. The foundation is that structural battery pack. Unlike older EVs where the battery is a heavy box bolted to the chassis, Tesla's battery pack is the chassis. It's load-bearing. It's the backbone. Then on each end, they bolt two massive aluminum castings created by the Giga Press. In traditional manufacturing, creating this same structure would involve hundreds of separate operations. Stamping panels, welding them together, checking alignment, reinforcing joints. Tesla collapsed all of that into essentially three major components clicked together like Lego bricks. The efficiency gain is almost absurd. Elon Musk claims they've eliminated roughly 450 robots from the production line just by switching to large castings. Each robot removed isn't just a cost saving, it's one less point of failure, one less bottleneck. The entire chassis comes together so quickly that it looks like a skateboard rolling down the line, complete with motors, suspension, brakes, and wheels already installed. Then comes the marriage. When the completed upper body gets lowered onto that rolling chassis and bolted into place. Once those connections are made, you have a complete vehicle. But can you really maintain quality when moving this fast? Tesla's critics have been asking this for years, and they have evidence. Early Model 3 and Model Y vehicles had well-documented panel gap issues and paint inconsistencies. 
With the Model 2, we're talking about an even cheaper vehicle built even faster. So what gets sacrificed? According to leaked information, unconfirmed by Tesla, the Model 2 is going to be stripped down in ways that might shock people. Fabric seats instead of synthetic leather. No heated seats. No premium audio. No panoramic glass roof. Single pane windows instead of acoustic glass. Tesla is betting that buyers in this price range care more about having an EV with Tesla's technology than premium comfort features. Is that bet correct? We'll find out next year. What's fascinating is what Tesla is keeping. The Model 2 reportedly still gets the full self-driving hardware stack, forward cameras, and the onboard processing platform. This tells you everything about Tesla's real strategy. This isn't just a budget car. It's a future robo-taxi that happens to have a steering wheel. Once regulations catch up, these vehicles could theoretically join Tesla's autonomous fleet. Suddenly, that $25,000 price tag looks less like a consumer bargain and more like Tesla's cost basis for building their robo-taxi network at scale. The production numbers Tesla is targeting are equally telling. For the Model 2, rumors suggest they're aiming for roughly double the Model Y's output. If true, we're talking about potentially 2 million units per year from just one factory. At that scale, even small manufacturing improvements create enormous advantages. Shaving half a second off production time might sound trivial, but multiply that by 2 million vehicles, and you've saved over 277 hours of production time annually. That's real money. Here's the twist nobody's discussing openly. Tesla's manufacturing innovation might be their most valuable asset, more valuable than their battery technology, charging network, maybe even their self-driving software. Why? Because manufacturing capability is incredibly difficult to copy. BYD might reverse engineer a Tesla battery pack, but replicating an entire factory system refined over a decade? That's a different challenge entirely. Traditional automakers like GM and Ford have been trying to match Tesla's production efficiency for years. They're still not close. The Giga Press itself is a perfect example. These machines are custom-built by Italian company Idra, specifically for Tesla, costing millions each and requiring specialized expertise. You can't just order one and expect it to work. Tesla had to redesign their entire manufacturing philosophy around these machines. Industry analysts estimate it would take traditional automakers at least a decade to develop comparable systems. So, what does this mean for the broader EV market? If Tesla delivers the Model 2 at $25,000 with 300 miles of range and acceptable quality, they'll force every automaker to answer an uncomfortable question. How can we possibly compete on price? Chinese manufacturers like BYD might have a chance because their operational costs are lower. But European and American automakers focusing on premium segments? They're in serious trouble. Tesla is about to drag the entire industry into a price war. But let's bring this back to reality. None of this matters if Tesla can't execute. The Model 2 is vaporware until vehicles reach customer hands. Tesla has a history of missing production timelines. The Cybertruck was supposed to start production in 2021. It didn't begin deliveries until late 2023. The Semi was announced in 2017 and is just now reaching meaningful production. So when Tesla says the Model 2 will launch next year, Add at least six months to that timeline. So here's what's really happening inside Giga Texas. Tesla didn't just speed up manufacturing. They redefined what a car factory can be. The compromise? Not safety or core tech. It's premium features. No heated seats, no glass roof, fabric instead of leather. Tesla is betting the mass market prioritizes affordability 
over luxury. This is where the industry is heading. When a $25,000 EV with 300-mile range becomes reality, every automaker faces one question. Can we match this? For most, the answer is no, not without years rebuilding their infrastructure. That's Tesla's real advantage, and this is just the start. If the Model 2 succeeds, EVs become the default, not the premium option. What's your take? Will buyers accept fewer features for affordability? Let us know in the comments. This is Tech Revolution, analyzing the innovations reshaping our world. For more breakdowns like this, you know where to find us. The revolution isn't coming. It's already here, rolling off the line every 4.5 seconds.